I thought I'd do is uh, at the beginning of the video here, I thought I'd show what some of the finish, finished um, boards, even though I'm going to do the road still, um, what the finished grass effect looks like. And I think um, you can see it looks really nice. Um, the the bases on the figures that I've chosen here, maybe not the best choice because it's kind of Luke Apps' stuff and it, it's not necessarily just pure static grass, but you can see the synergy between static grass and the clumps. Um, I'm just going to zoom out because what I should be able to do is uh, show you a bit more of what the static grass effect looks like. And you can see it here, can't you? Um, it's quite significant with the longer, longer grass kind of... Uh, pushed into it, um, layered on top. Quite a nice effect overall. I'm really pleased, as I said before, I think it's gonna make a good battlefield. We'll have a quick look at the finished article of uh, the, the, what the grass looks like for the, the river section that I had. I'll just pop this over here somewhere. Okay, you can see two different shades there. Now, one was a, One's due to a kind of static grass hybrid of some of spring and summer. And I think it's this one here. And the other one here is just pure spring grass with the uh, with layered on top of that. And uh, I wasn't sure whether it would have an impact, but clearly it has, it's come through a lot. So um, I don't know which one I prefer. I think I prefer the, the, the spring lighter colored one. Um, but you know, when you look around at fields and things like that, there's never ever, you're never ever gonna see the same colored fields anywhere. You just gotta look around in fields, they're always different. So I'm not that bothered really. Um, it's look, gonna look nice when uh, I get that river filled up with water, which I've got to order. So I guess I'll pr proceed with, uh, with the plan. And uh, after this short video here, you'll see how I created these. Um, not a bad video, speed it up in places. So stick with it. And uh, if you're thinking about m moving into this sort of thing or you've got some all ready, then uh, hopefully it'll be of interest. Speak soon. Okay guys, this is a, a river section. Um, I'm gonna do this, the last part is actually doing the river. Um, I'm going to be covering this in two mil first and then six mil and then 10 and 12 mil static grass. Um, I might make a do a break between each each layer, um, but and, and explain if I've had any particular problems. But uh, see you on the other side of the short vid. So that was the two mil. Uh, next up is the six mil. Oh no, four mil. So for that, we're gonna spray some of this layering spray or tree foliage spray on there, which is quite strong smelling by the way. Um, I've got well ventilated room. And uh, we'll get that on there. And uh, then we'll layer on some 10 or 12 mil, I think. I don't know if I've got some six mil around, I might even use that. So we'll see, in any case. But uh, I'll time lapse it so we can take a look. Speaking a bit. Okay guys, this, um, that's that done. And um, I think you'll agree. Well, you won't know because it was in a bit of slow-mo, but um, I'll tidy, tidy it up as I take all this out of the center and uh, let it dry. But uh, I can tell from the results so far that it's looking really nice and uh, it's gonna look like grass. Good grass at that.